Hi, my name is Judy Van Coyman, and you're watching Life Issues. And the September show is the Cam Neely Foundation. And my guests are David Brown and Patty Reiser. Welcome, both of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us today. You're very welcome. My pleasure. David, I'm going to start with you. What is your title? Okay, first of all, my name is David Brown, and I'm the executive director of the Cam Neely Foundation. Okay, great. And um, what is your professional background? Well, uh, I've been in fundraising, nonprofit work for 10 years, and before that I spent 27 years in local television. I was a meteorologist at Channel 5 for 18 years, and then exactly 10 years ago I decided I wanted to do something different. And so I entered the world of nonprofits, and being the executive director of the Cam Neely Foundation, this is my third job in the nonprofit sector. Great, yeah. I'm sure people, as soon as they saw your face or heard your voice, they go, I know him from somewhere. <laughs> You get so. those stares and people trying yeah. to figure out, how do they know you? So thank you for clarifying that. You're welcome. And how long have you been with the foundation now? So I started last November. Okay. Yeah, I was, uh, before the Cam Neely Foundation, I was at an organization called MAB Community Services. We operated the Mass Association for the Blind, mm -hmm. a school in Brookline called the Ivy Street School for young people living with autism and brain injury. And then mm -hmm. we had 25 group homes for adults with developmental disabilities. And then 10 years ago, I started my journey in nonprofits at the Forsyth Institute, which is the world's leading independent oral health research institute. Okay. So quite a change from talking about orographic uplift and cold mm. and warm fronts in New England. <laughs> so it's been a great change. Right. Okay, Patty, what is your title? I'm the director of the Nailey House. Okay, and what is your professional background? Well, before I came to work at the Nailey House, I worked at Mass General Hospital in the development office. I was the director of the client service program where we help facilitate health care for the donors and um, just help people navigate their way around MGH. Mm, which can be kind of scary sometimes because <laughs> I've been there. Um, and how long have you been with the Nealy House? Uh, it'll be four years in October. Good. And David, can you please tell us how the foundation was started? Yeah, so I'm sure many people are familiar with Cam Neely. You know, Cam Neely is a Boston icon. Obviously, his long, successful career with the Bruins currently is the president of the Boston Bruins. Um, like so many families in New England, Cam had a tragedy 27 years ago. Um, he lost his parents, both to cancer, in a very short period of time. And like you, dealing with tragedy in your life and trying to create some goodness around it, uh, Cam and his family put together the foundation to honor uh, his parents and put together the foundation embedding it in Tufts Medical Center, realizing that the foundation fits a need of providing comfort, care, and support for families dealing with a recent cancer diagnosis. The foundation funds a number of cancer initiatives at Tufts Medical Center and along with the Neely House, which Patty so beautifully operates. Neely House supports families as they're in Boston, um, dealing with cancer, and it's, uh, I call it uh, Ronald McDonald House meets the Ritz. <laughs> it's a beautiful 16-suite facility embedded in Tufts, and it's a bed and breakfast style, um, kind of a hotel for families in town dealing with cancer treatment. Make them feel comfortable. It is. So for the last 27 years, Cam and his family, Cam and Paulina, have been steering the foundation and really creating a significant philanthropic footprint in, um, in Boston. And I love the fact that they chose Tufts. If you think about the hospitals in the Boston area, you know, the 800-pound gorillas, uh, Children's Hospital does great work, Dana-Farber does tremendous work, Mass General, they are wonderfully supported by a huge philanthropic community. Tufts is the little engine that could. Um, it's the oldest hospital in Boston, started by George Washington and Paul Revere. And Cam wanted to have the largest impact, and he knew that Tufts would be the hospital that would appreciate his generous philanthropy more than anybody else. I didn't know that background. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. And what is the mission? So the mission is to provide comfort, care, and support for families um, experiencing a recent cancer diagnosis. Realizing that comfort, the Neely House does that. If a family member is in town for uh, pediatric cancer or uh, brain tumor or any kind of cancer, the whole family can come and be a part of their 
care, it can be a part of their convalescing, and it can be a part of their healing. We also have a number of other cancer initiatives at the hospital, all focused on making sure that the best technology, the best minds, and the best service is provided to those experiencing a, a very difficult diagnosis. Okay, great. And what does the foundation provide for cancer patients? Um, our brick and mortar is the Neely House, and Patty can you know, talk beautifully about that, because that is kind of our signature um, cancer initiative. What we're also doing for the first time, partnering with Tufts University School of Nutrition and launching the Neely Integrative Science Center, understanding that nutrition is as much a part of your overall health as, uh, as medicine, right? So what you put into your body can affect not only cancer healing, cancer diagnosis, but also cancer prevention, along with autoimmune conditions. Mm -hmm. So this is a collaboration between the best minds at Tufts University School of Nutrition and Tufts Medical Center, realizing that the thoughts behind the academic area of food um, parlayed that into kind of the clinical practices at the hospital. We'll make sure that uh, folks are taken care of from nutritional standpoint. So that we're also working kind of in that niche. Okay, great. And Patty, where is the Neely House located? It's in Tufts Medical Center on, in the Fonsworth Building on Floor 5. Okay. And can you please explain what it's like with, within the walls of the Neely House? Well, as David said, uh, we have 16 suites. Mm -hmm. uh, they range in various sizes and shapes. Um, each suite has a little kitchenette uh, mm -hmm. complete with refrigerator, toaster oven, microwave, your own private bath, and uh, some of the suites have recliners and sleep sofas, and they can accommodate up to five people comfortably mm -hmm. in a room. So nice. Thanks. And there's special kind of other areas. Uh, the Bruins Den, I think, is a favorite part of the Neely House. Uh, want to talk about that? Sure. We have a theater room. It's called the Bruins Den. Uh, we have Netflix and YouTube TV, and we have uh, thousands of DVDs, which the guests can um, choose from to watch. Uh, we have two common kitchens. Um, we have two common living rooms, so that if we're at full capacity, we have plenty of room um, that mostly the long-term stays uh, use the kitchen because everybody has their own little kitchenettes in their own suite. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a resource room that has computers and printers. So uh, there's something for everyone and uh, everyone is well taken care of. There's mm -hmm. nothing that they want for while they're staying there. Yeah. And That's what's good. wonderful about the facility is it's, it's truly one of a kind in the Boston area. Mm -hmm. You know, there are great facilities that, you know, the American Cancer Society provides, mm -hmm. um, but the Neely House is the only one that's embedded within a hospital. So mm -hmm. a mother could be staying at the Neely House while her child is just two floors down, and the proximity to the care is remarkable. But what's, I think, the standout part about the Neely House is just how beautiful it is. You know, you enter the floor, at, you know, floor one at Tufts Medical Center, and as much as we love, uh, love Tufts, it's at times dingy and dark as some hospitals can be. Mm -hmm. But when you come up to floor five and those doors open, your jaw drops because it is so welcoming. Mm -hmm. It is truly beautiful. And our guests are taken care of not only by Patty and the staff, but by the sheer comfort of the house. Mm. Yeah. And especially with people going through that situation of the cancer and everything, they don't want to have to worry about, you know, what, anything, basically. So Neely House sounds like, you know, takes care of everything for them. Yes, it, it absolutely yeah, does. That's nice. Yeah. And Good. there's some great stories. I mean, inside of the Bruins Den, for example, um, a woman who had stayed at the Neely House she makes quilts, oh. and so she sends, I don't know where she's from, but she makes quilts and she sends them regularly yeah. just to put in the Neely, just to put in the uh, Bruins mm -hmm. Den so other guests can find the comfort that she did. Mm -hmm. um, when I first started at the foundation, um, a mother called, and she made a $50 donation to the foundation, and I, you know, I thanked her, and this was her first donation. And I said, 
you know, what's the story behind you, know, you wanting to make this donation? Mm -hmm. And she says, do you have a minute? And I said, of course. Mm -hmm. And she said, in 2001, her 11-year-old daughter had a diagnosis of a brain tumor mm -hmm. and came to Tufts. And it was one of those diagnoses in which, um, for many cases, it was fatal. And if she survived the brain surgery, it was likely that she wouldn't be able to have the side of her brain function that could do you know, math, could do complicated um, you know, equations, kind of that side of the brain. And so she was at the hospital. She was staying at the Neely House. Her daughter had the surgery. They were back up at the Neely House convalescing, and they met Cam. And the minute they met Cam, they just felt like they had somebody in their corner in addition to the medical staff. And so the whole time she was telling me the story, I was like, fast forward to the end. I wonder, is it a happy ending? Yeah. <laughs> and so she says, my daughter you know, got the care that she needed. And she went on to get her PhD at Harvard in biomechanical mm -hmm. engineering and currently is at MIT on a team making motorized wheelchairs for individuals living with ALS. Amazing. A, a remarkable mm -hmm. story. Not all stories end like that, mm -hmm. but the right. fact that this mother was so indebted and you know, uh, grateful for the care that mm -hmm. she and her daughter received mm -hmm. thanks to not only the Neely House, but the touch point that Cam provided mm -hmm. um, was very, uh, was touching, was remarkable. Mm -hmm. Cool. And Patty, how long do families stay in the house? The average length of stay is about three nights. Um, we have people who just stay for one night, um, and then we have long-term stays for people who have stem cell transplants uh, or bone marrow transplants. And usually the stay is around 30 days, but it could be up to 90 days as well. Mm. And everyone is different in their recovery process. Mm. But the average length of stay is about three nights. Okay. And the rooms are equipped not just like with hotel quality bedding and whatnot, but a number of them have to have certain um, kind of medical devices, whether it's mm. HEPA filters to make sure that the air is completely clean. Mm. Because, you know, a bone marrow transplant, um, it's not like you can just exit the hospital and return to normal. There's a certain level of care that you have to continue and the Neely House provides that. That's good, very good. And David, what is the Neely Cancer Fund incentives? Uh, so the initiatives range from gastro, um, uh, help me out with some of the initiatives since, sure. since that's your um, bailiwick. <laughs> GI, um, Cancer Research, uh, the neurosciences. Um, we have hematology, oncology for pediatrics. All that was one of our initiatives, although it's no longer there. Um, and then stem cell. Okay. And each one is connected to a different cause. That's um, exceedingly important to Cam, Paulina, and their family. Um, you know, if you were to come visit the hospital, you know, I think the gastro. The GI, I'll, I'll use that since I can't pronounce the rest of it. The, the GI wing is a, a tribute to Cam's mom, Marlene. And she loved Hawaii. And so when you enter this facility, you're taken back to the Hawaiian Islands. Mm -hmm. And what I'm touched by is there's a poem at the beginning that's written by Cam's son, Jack, about his grandmother. And so you realize that this family encounters all the things that other families encounter, but they are just such a loving and c inclusive family, mm -hmm. but one that's really led by the foundation that Cam's parents gave. And the new initiative is really Paulina's, uh, but excites her since her background is nutrition. And you know she's from Croatia and she recently lost her father and this new initiative really is a, a love letter to him. Nice. Oh, it's touching. Yeah. Oh. And David, the Neely Foundation has a huge fundraiser coming up. Please tell us about that. We do. It's a, it's a little thing at the garden called Comics Come Home. This is the 26th year. And what I'm impressed with by Cam is his network. 
you know, uh, like all of us, we rely on our friends. And Cam's friends really go to bat for what's important to Cam and Paulina and the foundation. So for the last 26 years, 27 years, Dennis Leary has been putting together a lineup of, of some of the best comedians, not only locally, you know, like Lenny Clark, Dennis Leary, but national headliners who for one night, they all come to Boston and they do a uh, comedy review. And they realize that laughter is the best medicine. And so this is an opportunity for folks to come to the garden for an evening of laughter. Tickets are affordable and we uh, will welcome about 12,000 folks for a night of comedy, wow. November the 12th. And, and I'm how, sure you'll be there. <laughs> and how would they, someone go about getting tickets? It's simple as going to our website, camneelyfoundation.org, and when you're there, easily navigate to the landing page to purchase tickets. Okay. Uh, it's purchased through Ticketmaster, and uh, they will be available in September this month, and so that's, uh, that's a good thing. And how are some of, of the other ways to donate? Well, so we have a golf tournament in the spring each fall, each spring. I should mention, though, uh, two of the headliners for Comics Come Home, yeah. um, John Mulaney and Jimmy Fallon. So, you know, Jimmy has some local roots and wow. has a great connection to Boston, and everybody loves John Mulaney. And then, of course, Dennis Leary and, and Lenny Clark, along with uh, a number of other ones. Um, how can people donate? It's as simple as going to our website, camneleefoundation.org backslash donate. Even if you don't do the backslash donate, come to the landing page, and in the upper right-hand corner is uh, the donate button. You know, it's a foundation that has, for the last 27 years, relied on the philanthropy of not only Cam's network, but Boston community at large. Um, I am amazed and impressed by the number of people that have followed Cam's career that realize that Cam has this philanthropic footprint and wants to be part of it. Mm -hmm. And so we have donors who donate $5 a month all the way up to $25,000. So we appreciate and uh, truly are grateful for all donors and uh, would love to have anybody who wants to donate to the Cam Muley Foundation do so at cammuleyfoundation.org, O-R-G. Okay, great. Or call me up personally. I'll take your credit card number and make it easy. <laughs> okay. Patty, what are the eligibility requirements? Just that you have a cancer diagnosis and you're being treated at Tufts Medical Center. Very not simple and easy because cancer is never simple and easy, but, right. but they don't have to go through any process of, of staying at the Neely house? Uh, they just have to get in touch with the social worker mm -hmm. and then the social worker will reach out to us and we'll check for availability and make them a reservation. Okay, great. And it's a 24 hour a day operation. So Patty is there at times 24 hours a day. <laughs> she sleeps there. Uh, people who stay there are always supported by mm -hmm. a staff member from the Neely Foundation. Uh, one of Patty's co-workers, our co-workers, Claudia, does a remarkable job of mm -hmm. you know, making sure that people feel welcomed. You know, we've had um, housekeeping team members who have been with the organization from the get-go who truly believe that what they're doing is, you know, is God's work. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we are so grateful for you know, all of our team members' efforts. Mm -hmm. That's great. And Patty, what does the house provide? Um, as I said, each guest uh, gets their own private suite and um, we supply them with their bed linens, their towels, their um, coffee, cream, sugar. We have little snacks for them. Um, we have shampoo and toothbrushes and toothpaste for those that forget that forget it but w whatever we can I think probably the most important thing that we provide for them is comfort um, of course. and accessibility to the hospital right right okay and Patty the Neely house has a wish list what are those items and how do, do people um, get them to you well, um, wish list would be things like laundry detergent and bleach and curry coffee pods, um, pump hand soap, paper towels, uh, Kleenex, 
uh, just things like that that we can give to the patient, um, toothbrush, toothpaste, as I said. Uh, when, you know, people are under a lot of stress as they're packing and they're coming to us and they forget some things, so it's nice to have them on hand and just take away that burden from them. That's great. Hand sanitizer. Of course, nowadays <laughs> still, yeah. <laughs> And then, so how would people get them to the Neely House? Uh, they just have to give us a call, and um, we'll do anything we can to accommodate them and have them. Um, most people like to deliver it because if they haven't been to the Neely House, they'd like to see the Neely House. So that's usually what happens. They contact us. They let us know. First they call. They, want, they ask us what we need. Um, then they let us know that they have it and when can they bring it. Mm -hmm. then they love having a tour of the house. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, and if anyone would like more information about the Neely House, can you give us your contact info? Sure. My email is pryser at camneelyfoundation.org and the best number so that you would get somebody at any given time is 617-636-0715. Okay, great. And David, if anyone has any questions about the Cam Neely Foundation, can you please give us your, the best contact? Absolutely. Before I dive into that, I do want to mention quickly also that in addition to the golf tournament and the comics come home, we have a accomplished marathon team. So we, you know, mm. in the fall, accept applications if somebody wants to run as a charity runner. Um, we are so grateful to John Hancock Charity Program who uh, offers charity bibs for a number of nonprofits across the greater Boston area. And so we're part of the John Hancock Charity Program. So you know, we raise upwards of you know, $150,000 to $200,000 mm -hmm. um, when folks decide to uh, lace up their running shoes and train all winter long and run the Boston Marathon. So that's just another little pitch. Uh, my contact information is, best way to get a hold of me is email. And that's dbrown, B-R-O-W-N, at camneelyfoundation.org, C-A-M-N-E-E-L-Y foundation.org. Okay, and also, um, can anybody volunteer um, if, besides the events that you have um, coming up or, you know, but say that volunteer in the Neely House or any other um, thing? Since it's a medical facility and since we are still following kind of COVID protocol. Mm. We like to limit the number of people that can come into the Neely House. Uh, you know, we want to limit the exposure. And since our guests are kind of medically compromised, we like to mm. limit that. Uh, volunteers, we always need volunteers for our events, whether it's the golf tournament. We use volunteers for our comics come home. And then I also like if there are young people in college who want to have an internship program or an inter, uh, internship opportunity, want to know a little bit more about uh, the world of nonprofit or the world of sports when it relates to nonprofit. Um, I'm always willing to, to mentor a uh, young person like that. So again, just reach out to dbrown at camneelyfoundation.org and we can make things happen. Okay, awesome. I'm sorry, but that's all the time that we have. Thank you both for all you do for those in need. I love to hear your thoughts and suggestions. Please send them to lifeissuestv at gmail.com. And remember, live each day to the fullest and celebrate life.